Hi my friends, Miss Lynn here. I miss you guys. I can't wait till we can be together again. Um, I want to get us started on this exciting day. So how do we get started? One, two, three. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Good job. And you guys, we haven't done it in a while quiet, so let's do it that way. Ready? One, two, three. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Great job. I didn't even hear you here. So today, we are talking about a celebration. Um, what kind of things do you like to celebrate? Well, we celebrate birthdays and Christmas and anniversaries and all kinds of stuff and Easter. Um, but in this big God story, we learned that God is with us all the time and that is worth celebrating. So let's celebrate by pretending to blow our imaginary horn. Put your hands together just like this and go choo choo. Ready? Choo choo. Good job. So I have some special drawings that are going to help us to remember that God is with us. Choo choo. So the first one. <laughs> is my picture of a boat. Yikes. That's not a good picture, is it? <laughs> so do you guys remember the story of Jesus and the boat? His friends were so scared. Did they need to be afraid? No, they didn't because God was with them. He sent Jesus out to make the storm stop. That's worth celebrating. Toot, toot. Okay, my second picture. You guys know what that is? <laughs> That's my picture of Jesus walking on the water. And um, God's Jesus' disciples were out fishing and Jesus walked out on the water to them. That was really cool. He was wanting to be with them. That's something to celebrate. Ready? Choo choo. Good job. So this is a picture of a teddy bear. <laughs> sometimes I used to sleep with a teddy bear when I was little. Do you sometimes do you guys sleep with something too? Like a teddy bear or a puppy or something like that, stuffed animal or a blanket? Yeah, it makes us feel better when we're scared, doesn't it? Well, if you're ever scared at night, I want you to know that you can always ask Jesus. That's right. Good job. We don't have to be scared because he is always with us. So do you guys remember when Peter was in the jail and all of his friends um, were praying and the angel came? God was with Peter. Let's celebrate that. Choo -choo. Good job. All right, my last picture. <laughs> That's a picture of a bouncing ball. Hmm. What do you do with a bouncing ball? You play with it. So, guess what? God is with us all the time, even when we're playing. Isn't that great? That's something to celebrate. Ready? Choo choo. Good job. Guess what? God is with us when we play. God is with us when we're at our friends' houses. God is with us when we're in our backyard, which I'm in right now. God is with us when we're in the park. I know that wherever I am, God will be there. And same with you guys. Wherever you guys are, God is with you. So let's blow our horns one more time to celebrate that. Ready? One, two, three. Choo, choo. Good job, guys. It's fun to celebrate all the cool things that God has done for us. All right. So, guys... I want you to remember that it's really important to pray for our family and our friends. Okay, you guys are so good at using your words and I want you to keep practicing that. So now's the time that you can ask your moms and dads, brothers and sisters, or even a family pet, or call a grandma or grandpa or a friend and just say, is there something I can pray for you about right now? And then use your really good words to pray for them. All right, guys, I love you and I miss you. I'll see you soon. Bye.